Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cafe Chronicles. I'm Steve. I'm Dan. And today we're going to be taking a look at the electronics on the bike. We're going to take a look at the headlight, popping the new LED headlight that we got on there. Also having a look at the new turn signals we got, putting them in place. And we're going to get the wiring harness. Some people call it the loom, some people call it the harness. We're going to pop that in place and really start kind of putting it there and seeing just how much of this we actually have to chop up and do some work on. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so we have our wiring harness. We're, we think it's still good. We think everything should be okay on it. When we're taking it apart, we did our best to kind of label everything. You know, left coil at the back here. We have left indicator, you know, turn signal, you know, tail light. You know, as much, as much as we could to kind of save ourselves some hassle. But I think what we'll have to do, we're, we're not going, we're definitely not going to use these turn signals and we're not going to use the headlight. So I think first we need to just dismantle these and get the wiring harness out of there, then uh, spread it out and see, see how it looks. So as you guys can see here, it's a little bit of a jumbled mess, but we're just gonna fish these back out of our headlight so that we can uh, use our hands. Okay, so one thing that's really cool about this setup so this is the way the LED light comes. I bought one of these for my CB750 build. Don't forget, you can check it out up here, the CB750 build. I did a custom wiring harness because I had no harness. Um, and when I had this, I was wiring it into a M unit, to a Moto Gadget M unit. So I actually had to take this off and wire this in. But, um, these wires here, I believe one is left turn signal, one is right turn signal, and I believe one is for the halo, because um, on this light, there is sort of a, a halo that stays on, you know, on either side, on the left and right side here, there's like this kind of a halo effect, and it stays on when the turn signals aren't on. So we will, the really cool thing is with this old harness, it has the exact fitting that we need here, which is really cool. But what we will need to do is put in a constant power for the halo and then left and right turn signals. So we're not fully sure yet if we're gonna use the stock gauges or not, but we're gonna pop them in place for now and we can always take them off and put something else, but we'll see how it goes. It's a wonder we're not junkies now from like glue fumes <laughs> between the seat and like anything where we've used fumes. And so I'm really surprised Dan's just not sniffing this at the moment. So 
So if you remember, we bought a taillight, Dan purchased a taillight for the, for the back of the bike. And one of our viewers, John, John Wright, the right man for the right job. John, you're a legend. Uh, John reached out and he says, hey guys, I have just bought that same taillight. And he said, um, I'm after doing a little bit of a retrofit on it. He said like, you know, it's a really nice build quality and everything, but it's got an incandescent bulb in there and it's a little bit flimsy. So John did a little bit of a retrofit on it. And we'll show you what it looks like in a minute. He did a really cool job. He actually um, lined the inside of the the tail light with a foil tape like an adhesive foil so it'll be brighter he also changed out the little cradle for the bulb to uh, take an LED bulb and he reached out and he asked us what wiring uh, color we need for our loom and everything so we sent him it on and he actually pre-wired everything for us so John you're an absolute legend thank you so much we're sending you out a cafe chronicles t-shirt and um, so hopefully you've maybe even got that at this stage um, if not hopefully it'll be to you soon but thanks again because John actually had what he called a spare one knocking around and he pre-wired it did the mod on it and did everything for us and shipped it to us so John you're an absolute legend thanks again much appreciated and thanks for tuning in as well also if anybody wants to get themselves one of the Cafe Chronicles t-shirts you can go to cafechronicles.ca and check it out and um, some really nice t-shirts all good material i've just made mine dirty <laughs> <laughs> they're a perfect t-shirt for drinking beer and cranking on a cafe racer so uh, make sure to check that out all the proceeds help us out help us to buy little bits and pieces and make the show So that's kind of it for today. It doesn't seem like much, but it's so nice to see like the headlight on there. You know, make sure that we have the harness and we have everything ready, running it back through. It's so cool to actually see the harness line up with these like taped up pieces of the engine harness that we've uh, had hanging out like uh, guts for like the last year. Thanks again to John for that tail light. We're delighted, John, thanks so much. We're gonna have a few different parts of the wiring because we're gonna use a lithium ion battery. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of wiring and change out the reg rec as well. And also, you know, we're using LED turn signals and we're using a LED headlight. So we're gonna probably have to wire in some resistors in there to uh, create enough load on the harness so that uh, the, the relays and stuff for the turn signal are actually um, they're not going to start blinking really quickly thinking that the bulbs are gone and stuff like that so that's kind of it for part one and uh, we're also we're not sure that we're going to keep this cluster up here these gauges we might get different different types right yeah we'll, we'll investigate a couple different options um, part of the whole cafe look is to drop the uh, the instrument cluster or, or however you want to do that and this is still set up pretty high for the old handlebars so we'll, we'll figure it out so we hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and see you next week <laughs>